Look, I didn't went and bought test strips. This is how you know you're official. You go and buy test strips. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today we're gonna be talking about my newest fragrance purchase that just came in. It is the BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking. I'm so excited. Anyway, so if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts about the BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking, then just keep on watching. Before we get started, please go ahead and subscribe if you like fragrance related videos. If you like beauty and lifestyle related videos, but mostly fragrance related videos, then please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here. I would. I'm trying to grow my channel. I need your help. Oh, also side note, I do sound a little bit congested. I am getting over he, what should not be named. We're not naming it. I am getting over that. I was down for a couple of days. Yeah, it, it, it got me good. It got me good, but I'm doing much much better now I wanted to film a video for you guys and yeah I really wanted to talk about my new perfume so don't mind the raspy voice I don't sound like this all the time but let's go ahead and get into this video this is not my first time smelling the BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking. I actually ordered this on Split Sense. I ordered a little decant of it. I sprayed it. I fell in love with it. I used up that decant really fast. I knew that I wanted to order the full size of this. So I actually went on the BDK Parfums website. I ordered directly from it. I paid $190. I think they had like free shipping or whatever. I ordered it like December 30th. They shipped it December 31st and I got it January 18th. So about three weeks of time, which is not too bad. It's typically what I expected, especially when you order from overseas. The packaging and the presentation when it came in was super luxe though. I have to give it to BDK Parfums for that because it came in the box and the box had like that crinkle paper, but it was like the really thick crinkle paper, really nice. This box was wrapped in like gift paper and then it had a little ribbon around it that had the little wax seal. It was so nice. The presentation was like super, super incredible. And then they wrote like a, like a handwritten note that had like my name and hey, thank you for your purchase. When companies do things like that, it's what really makes me want to come back and like go back to them and order from them some more. All right, so here she is. Here's the bottle. Here's a little pull out thing that you can pull it out and there she is. Like like I said, this is not my first time smelling this. This is not my first time spraying it, okay? I sprayed this last night. Spoiler alert, love it. I'll be honest, the bottle, like the, the look of the bottle is not my favorite. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's nice. You know, like this is just me being picky now, just me being picky. I do like how weighted it is though, it's super weighted. The color of the juice though, do y'all like this? Does this not look like anybody know what big red soda is? This reminds me of big red soda, like the color of it. It just reminds me of big red soda. It kind of smells like it too. So anyways, the, the bottle, not my favorite, but I'm, I, you know, it's going to go in my collection. I'm still going to use it. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce or the 100 mils. I'm not sure if they had a smaller size. I don't think they sell a smaller size of this. What I want to show you guys though, let me show you guys is the automizer. Y'all look at this. Y'all see that? It's one of those slow spraying automizers. Oh, I love these. I think Kayali is another brand that does that. So like I said, I've already smelled this before. This is not a first impression or anything like that. This is classified as a like fruity vanilla, but I don't really, I don't want to say that it's fruity. This is more of a like almondy sweet vanilla. Okay, if that makes any sense. Let me, let me break it down. In the top, you have cherry, pink pepper, and bergamot. And in the mid, you have some black vanilla husk, some heliotrope, and some orange blossom. And then you also have some tonka bean, some cashmere wood, some musk, and broxen, labdomen, and violet. Because this is classified as like a fruity vanilla, if you go into it thinking that, you might be a little bit let down. It has a Coca-Cola root beer type of feel to it. It's kind of fizzy. Like the opening is very fizzy, very bubbly. And I want to say it's because of that cherry that pink pepper and that bergamot that's what gives it that soda type feel the dry down of this is very smooth it's very creamy almost lactonic almost and a little bit powdery and also a little bit smoky like the very very dry down is very like a little bit smoky when i first got it and when i was first hearing talks about it i like was thinking that oh the cherry is going to be super prominent 
No, the cherry is not prominent, at least not to my nose. It is not a very prominent note, not like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now that cherry in there is like, it is in your face. This is not that. This is not one of those deep, super sweet, juicy cherries. This is more of that bright, tart type cherry. It almost has like a synthetic type of feel to it, like cherry chapstick, kind of like that a little bit. But this is a very like vanilla, almond type scent with a little bit of cherry thrown in, a little bit. This is a vanilla scent, but this is not one of those deep vanilla scents, you know, like those super spicy vanillas. It's not one of those. So when I think of like a super spicy or deep vanilla, I think of like my Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I think of my LaBelle from John Paul Gaultier. Those are the type of vanillas, like those deep, sexy vanillas. This is not one of those. So the mid has this black vanilla husk, which I'm not really sure what that is but I don't know it gives it a very creamy element a very sweet part of it and then it has that orange blossom in it and I'll be honest orange blossom is one of my favorite notes I love orange blossom but the way that this is blended you can barely I can barely detect the orange blossom I can smell it just a little bit but I can barely detect it and that's not a bad thing it's really not a bad thing it just it's blended so well with that vanilla and that heliotrope it makes it really smooth and really creamy the dry down like I said is that creamy sort of powdery vanilla. It's sweet and it's clean. It's like a clean vanilla, not the spicy deep, you know, them thick vanillas. No, it's not one of those. It's a sweet, fresh type clean vanilla. When this dries down, this dries down and there's like this smokiness. And I think that smokiness comes from the tonka beans. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure tonka bean gives like a smoky element to fragrances. This kind of reminds me of Mugler Aura. It kind of reminds me of that, but they're not the same. They're not dupes or anything like that. Mugler's Aura, it definitely, it has orange blossom and it has bourbon vanilla, but there's a rhubarb at the top, which gives it more of that root beer feel, where this one has that cherry at the top, which gives it more of that cherry Coke type feel. But these are very similar. I will say that they are family, maybe like second cousins, not brother and sister, but they but they can folk, you know what I'm saying? They, they can. Overall, I love the scent. I absolutely love the scent. It is a very easy to reach for scent. This is one that is uh, just a quick grab and go. It's one of those you don't have to think too hard about. Ooh, it just smells so good. It's just a sweet, Vanilla. I don't know. I just like it. There's days that I want to have that spicy extraness in my vanillas. And then there's days that I want to have just the sweet almondy plain vanilla. And that's this. In conclusion, I do love the scent. Love it. Love it. Love it. If you like those sweet almond like fresh vanillas, then this would be a great purchase for you. No issues with projection. No issues with the longevity. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, I'm happy with my purchase. So yeah, guys, that wraps up today's video. These are just my thoughts about the BDK Rouge Smoking. I hope you guys liked it. What do you guys think? Do you have it? Do you like it? Am I the only one that likes it? I'm no, I'm not because everybody talks about this fragrance. But anyways, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Hopefully I sound a little bit better. All right, bye. Anyways, look, I already got it dirty. I already got it dirty. Okay, all right. It's like the little small touches that really mean a lot to me. Someone's, Someone's at, the at the front door. door. Come on, seriously. Ooh, I think that's my, is that my Delena? I think that's my Delena coming in. Y'all, mm. <laughs>